Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Thursday, January the 21st, and I'm here today for uh, your daily devotions. So we're going to be in the book of Romans today. We are in uh, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Brothers, my heart's desire and prayer to God for them is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For being ignorant of the righteousness of God and seeking to establish their own, they did not submit to God's righteousness. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes about righteousness that is based on the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart who will ascend into heaven, that is, to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss, that is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that is, the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what he has heard from us? So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. But I ask, Have they not heard? Indeed they have, for their voice has gone out to all the earth and their works and their words to the end of the world. But I asked, did Israel not understand? First Moses says, I will make you jealous of those who are not a nation and a a foolish nation I will make you angry. Then Isaiah is so bold as to say, I have been found by those who did not seek me. I have shown myself to those who do not ask for me. But of Israel, he says, all day long I have held out my hands to a disobedient and contrary people. So we're continuing this discussion that I talked about yesterday uh, about the Gentiles also being brought into the faith and that in some ways this is being held out to the Israelites to make them jealous, uh, that they would see the Gentiles coming in and and believing in the one true God and that they also might return. Because Israel had experienced a a very stubborn period in its, well, many times throughout its history, but particularly uh, the time when Christ was seen upon the earth. And, uh, you know, you you do have this notion that all the early disciples were were Jewish and uh, all the early followers of Christ were Jewish and they were converting to Christianity. And uh, then Paul, of course, is sent as a missionary to the Gentiles and, and that becomes a part of his ministry. Uh, but there became this persistence um, in, in denying the gospel uh, that, that was seen among uh, whom Paul calls the descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. And Paul has a desperation about him that, that um, the Jewish people would come to faith uh, by larger numbers, though that did not seem to be happening. But it was really the Gentiles, uh, the early Gentiles, who became uh, becoming more and more often followers and believers in Christ. And Paul is talking uh, to the to the Romans here about that. The Romans, obviously, being uh, the Gentile people, so um, that's what's uh, that's what's happening here. And uh, I'm sorry about the phone call, um, but uh, you know we're going to continue uh, tomorrow in in Romans chapter 11, talking about the remnant of Israel, which will have some more information uh, or some more theology about uh, about that as well. So if you would now, please join me as we pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you give you his peace. Amen. Okay, uh, a few quick announcements for today. Uh, Voters meeting coming up on the 31st of this month. 
Uh, this will be the first quarterly voters meeting for 2021. Uh, we will be having the election of officers and, and all of those good uh, introductory things. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're still working on live streaming and, and making that uh, a reality for this Sunday. We've got a lot happening uh, with computer stuff here at the church this week. So uh, hopefully we'll get that all tied together. Um, but we will be doing the live stream this, this coming Sunday. Um, everything else I think is in the email newsletter, so please check that out. Get signed up for that if you're not, and, um, we'll have, uh, more information for you in there. The Lord bless the rest of your day.